Okay, so um, I, I haven't found anything online about this. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, program pneumatic craft drones using computer craft. It's pretty simple. The, the API is a little weird, but you're going to need a drone interface and you just need to connect it to the computer. You can use a modem or however you want to do it. Um, then you need a GPS tool and you right click that with the GPS tool to set its coordinates. You take a programmer, you put the drone in it, and then you just want to do something basic like, for example here, we do a, the start block, and then computer control, we add an area block so we can tell it where that drone interface is, and there we go. That, that's all that's required on there. Now I can get out of the horrible visual script. <laughs> the drone down you'll see that this turns on so for example let, let's do a basic teleporter script so pneumatic craft drones will teleport you um, or I'll teleport the drone and whatever entity it's carrying which can be really useful in the survival world with pneumatic craft installed because you can just teleport to any location you want so to start interfacing with the drone I'll just show you the basic commands you do Lua and then you're gonna want to uh, well, you just want to wrap the peripheral to whatever uh, side the drone interface is on. So I'll label the drone interface with a D, and then equals, and then since it's on the bottom here, we peripheral to wrap the bottom. So now you can see we got all the methods for the peripheral. So we need to define a position for the drone. So let's just say we want it to go to... Uh, so we do drone D dot add area. And then these will just be your three X, Y, and Z coordinates. So on the top right there, you can see the mini map. So I'm going to make it go just slightly above me. Well, let's say 20 blocks above me. So you go negative 44, one, negative 40. Yep, we're at negative 64. And negative 60. Yeah, that seems right. So you add that area. And I don't know if you saw that, but... It sends out this uh, ping thing. It's kind of like a stalk sensor looking thing. That doesn't appear if the drone's not within range of it, but it'll still be sending commands. So then, uh, we're gonna want to set an action on the drone. Like, th this API is really weird and kind of unintuitive. So you want to do d dot set action, and then the command for going to an area is simply go to. And you can see that that area was a few more blocks away, so it's going to teleport up there. And it looks like I screwed the coordinates up, so it went way over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. You can see the drone came over here. We can take a pneumatic wrench and shift right click it to get rid of it. There. Okay, so I'll show you how to write like a basic teleporter with this, for example. So, what we're going to want to do is we'll place that back down so it gets connected. Let's exit this prompt and let's just do edit teleporter. So, we're going to want to take a few arguments from this. So, the arguments are what's after a command, like for example, teleport x, y, z. So then you input like negative 60, 0, 0, whatever. So to get arguments into these computer craft scripts, you do, um, for example, args equals, and then you do three dots in this table thing here. So then let's say we want to go to x, x equals args 1, because it's the first one after the, uh, it's the first argument after the command. But the problem is, this comes up as a string, so we need to do two number here. So then we repeat that for the uh, remaining arguments. For example, args2 here. And 3. And then before I forget, we need to define the drone interface in here too. on the bottom. Okay. 
So now that we have all these arguments, uh, we need a location to pick up, see who picked people up from, for example. So let's actually put that in the zone here for a sec. And let's just set the pickup location directly in front of the computer here. So we place a box where it is. So that's where you're going to have to stand to be teleported. And we'll just drag this down one. And then we'll add an entity import. Wherever that is. No, nope, that's inventory import. Uh, where is it? Ah, here we go. Import entity. See why I hate visual scripting? <laughs> okay, we add another area block and we click the GPS tool on there. Okay, so then let's push that to. I'll do the one with the full pressure. When we push that in there, and now you'll notice once we deploy this drone, it picks us up. Okay, and let's finish this program. So all that all that you need to do from here is d dot clear area in case it has one. Uh, the clear area function you you have to run it before adding a new area. Otherwise, if you add a new area while one's existing, it, it just won't do anything. Which really confused me the first time I tried doing this. So then we add another area, and we just pass in these three arguments that we got from the start of the function. So x, y, z. Just like that. And then we do d.setAction go to. Let's save that. Now we can deploy the drone here. And we can do teleporter, let's just go 0, 2, 5, 5, 0, so we're going to go really high up. And you can see, there we go. And there we go, we're at uh, 0, 2, 5, 5, 0. Well, actually, negative 1, negative 1 for some reason, but close enough. So, you don't need to actually just teleport players, too. So for example, if you want to teleport two players at once, you can actually put a boat on here. You can put the boat down, and the drone will pick the boat up too. So it can pick up a very wide range of entities. I'm not exactly sure what's blacklisted or not. And this will work exactly the same. And there we go. So yeah, uh, a major improvement here, this is a very basic script, but you can add in things like redneck control and uh, you can call the teleporter to you. You can do a whole lot with it. The, the drones can also do a whole host of other things. I'll show you how to list all the actions they can do. So let's rewrap the drone interface. And we can do uh, d.get all action. Oh, we need to connect the drone first. Let's just stand back so it doesn't do anything. And so you can see it kind of it kind of cuts off the screen. Um, I'll just post the list so then I don't have to go through. Uh, I don't have to go all throughout uh, how you write this to a file. I'll post a link in the description on all the actions that you get. But you don't need to include the pneumatic craft colon in front of these. So if you want to do like uh, standby, for example, you just do d dot action or d dot set action uh, standby. You don't need to include this part here. But yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, I hope this kind of helps. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry about the editing. I don't. I don't have any software installed on this installation of Windows yet, so I'll be back with that in a sec. <laughs>